What's up, Nicole? <laughs> Can you even hear me at all through this little shitty mic? <laughs> oh shit, there's M&Ms on the floor. I didn't realize that. Oh, what's up? Oh, there's a bunch of people here. Oh, well, five people. <laughs> you guys, please entertain me. I'm at the airport and hello, heavy rain. It's boring, except for there was just an incident right across from the gate that I'm at. Some old man that works here was a lady. I don't know what she did. Who was in the right, but I was sipping tea. San Marcos? What's that? Like San Marcos, Texas? Because that's where I went to school. Uh, I'm going to Allen to see my parents and go to my 10-year high school reunion with a bunch of bitches. That's dope. Actually, I want to sit on the floor. Oh, hold on. I guess I'm losing because I would rather be on the floor. Oh, Brandon, I texted you because I wanted to know what airport you work at because I am at the DFW. So, you know, if you're here, what's up? <laughs> Wait, <wait. clears throat> oh, this down angle is not good. Yeah, got a, got a little self conscious because I was sitting in a chair next to people. And I mean, the dude has headphones on, but, um, you know, still. So now you can see this lovely airport behind me. How's everybody doing? How come I can't see the chat? Oh, what am I drinking? I'm drinking Coke Zero. Let me see what other messages that I missed. Yo, DJ Terpene. Uh, are you in San Marcos, Texas, fam? You work at RDU, where's that? Oh, all right, Rachel, have fun. Dude, Nicole, I just ate some uh, shitty barbecue here at the airport. It was not good at all, and I regret eating it, and now I have indigestion. So that's fun. <clears throat> Coke Zero is my jam, though. Oh, and you can see this is the barbecue that I had, Cousin's Barbecue. You left your spoon under a mat. <laughs> For what reason did you do this? You usually go food hunting and don't find anything during the hours. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, they had a, so I ate some like brisket and some pulled pork and um, they had like a broccoli casserole thing. So it was like rice and cheese and broccoli, which are all things that I love. Oh, Steve. Okay, Steve, I know who you is. Hello. But yeah, the broccoli and cheese casserole was so salty and just disgusting. So, oh, what's up? I remember those goddamn dick tracing glasses. <laughs> it's in Rayleigh and say penis out loud? Okay. I just did it. Are you happy? <laughs> yeah, dude, cheese sounded good, but um, it was not good. You know. Oh, also, cheese is always a bit. <laughs> The, I used to fly Alaska Airlines until they lost my luggage and then were complete assholes and so now I'm flying like American Airlines. <laughs> um, on the Alaska Airlines thing that I miss is they had this like cheese tray that you can buy and it had like some brie and some like other cheeses that were actually delicious. And you get free alcohol if you're in a premium seat and so you know just getting drunk on those flights for free with some Tito's and Coke Zero. <laughs> But, uh, and I upgraded my seats on this uh, American Airlines flight so that I have six inches more leg room because hello, you bitches tall. American Airlines, yeah. Uh, so this is the first time I've ever flown with American Airlines. And the seat that I was in, that I paid $70 to upgrade myself to so that I could have extra leg room and you know, be comfortable and shit, was incredibly uncomfortable. Yeah, I had the leg, but like to sleep, I literally just like keeled over own lap and was like trying to sleep because if I tried to sleep with my head against 
the wall. It's like their chairs. I don't know. They're not comfortable. Alaska Airlines at least has comfortable chairs, you know. Isn't this some riveting content? Thank you guys, the five of you that are here for hanging out with me because um, it's a long ass way over. Well, I mean, it's not that long. It's an hour and a half left, but you know. I wish that I would have been next to that altercation like when it started so that I knew what was going on because I don't know if the old man or the lady was in the wrong. All I know is they were shouting and like all of the airport employees that were like hanging around here like stopped and were staring at it. Oh, somebody mentioned me in their Snapchat story. Thank you, Rija. You have a problem. You're fucking short. How short are you? Oh, hello. Oh, do they have the crunch berries in it or? But what heavy rain is delaying your flight? Hold on, Max texted me. Oh, damn it, I can't get back to it. Well, M Max, if you're in the, this. Nothing is delaying my flight, there's just a layover. They delay. At six, oh, what up? Sure. <laughs> I could rest my arm on your head. You're like an inch shorter than my mom. The original Cap Crunch, yeah. Same. I love Captain Crunch. I don't care how bad it cuts up the roof of my mouth. Crunch is my shit. Yeah, Max, you heard. Are you on your break at work or something? Like, how are you texting? Are you working right now? Are you on your while you're at work? Because. Announcement. Hold on. Oh, it's about out of two. Very much. Snapchat. Oh, hell yeah. What you having for dinner? And what time is it that you're having dinner? Where are you? All oh, things. I'm trying not to yell. While I'm there are people around and I'm sure they're listening to me. Not really, but it looks like I'm talking to myself. Denmark, it's 7 in the evening. Oh, hell yeah. Now, what you eat, though, I want to know. Can you show me? Max is about to go to work. Enjoy going to work. That sucks. Some assholes. I'm off work for four days. Hey. <laughs> uh, like Captain Crunch. Rice and curry, yum. In Ireland, it's six. Ooh, meatballs, yum. That's a combination. I'm down for all of that. It's like, um something here right now. What fucking time is that? I don't know. I'm on my phone so I can't see the time because this is happening. Oh, I'm just watching these luggage carts go by. He stopped. He's got luggage. His love been what Texas is already doing to my skin. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go to my reunion. It was supposed to be today and then, you know, all those little bitches started complaining about the price and so they had to change the venue and so now it's tomorrow what up jamie yeah but i i am gonna go to it you know at least show up so the people who like did all the work to put it together didn't just do it for nothing you know if one person shows up and apparently two of the people on my friends list are going because they've rsvp'd so let's see if they actually show up um and let's also see how awkward i am oh you saw my video yeah, dude, I fucking hope so as well, because I'm not good in social environments like that. Uh, so hopefully, A, someone I know shows up, so I have somebody to, like, cling on to and follow around the whole night. Um, it's not a whole, like, complete mess. <laughs> if it is a complete mess, I'm going to live stream it. <laughs> Just put my reunion on YouTube. Wouldn't that be great? Yo, these floors are dirty. It's a good thing I'm wearing clothes that I don't give a shit about. You didn't go to yours, hope someone has fun. Kevin Crunch is going to prom with your cousin of cereal. You take that back, sir. What do you have against Captain Crunch or going to prom with your cousin? I hate being alone in public situations. Oh my God. It's like, I don't want to look down at my phone because then nobody will approach me. But also, I don't want people so awkward like I just feel like if someone 
approaches me, I'm gonna scare them off with my fucking weirdness and just in, in, inability, yeah, to um, be normal. Oh, there's somebody running through the airport. Run. Hope makes his flight. I was at the airport at 3.45 this morning. Got through security real fast because ain't nobody was there. And American Airlines, okay, I will say one thing about American Airlines. Well, I've only been on one flight. We'll see how the rest of these flights go. But, um, like, as soon as I got on the plane, we were buckled. We took the fuck off. Hello, Samantha. How are you? I'm in Dallas. Had a layover. Yeah, I lost my train of thought. But, uh, you know, fun stuff here. You have live chat selector on top. I think I have live... Let me look, hold on. Yeah, I have live chat. Live chat going, and I can scroll, I think. Yeah, okay. Kate okay, being alone in public. Oh, please do. Captain Crunch is going to prom with your cousin of cereals, which is a brand new sentence. I'm gonna screen cap that it on Reddit. And Brandon, since you're so judgmental about my cereal choices, what is your cereal of choice? Let me judge you now. Fun stuff, you're just peachy. Well, that's good. Oh my God. You guys, look at my eyebrows. Look how much I have overplucked my fucking eyebrows. This is insane. I can draw them on real nice, but like, oh my God. It's eating razor blades. It's delicious. Um, Brandon, it depends on what the cool thing to get out of my company is. I'm not gonna walk up and do shit like to strangers in public. Yeah, but I mean, I don't count it to be like super sucky. I actually, I don't know. I kind of like airports. Is that weird? I, I like flying. I like being at airports. It's just, I don't know. I like exploring them, especially when I have long layovers. I think it's real fun to like the whole airport. And the DFW airport, since it's so fucking massive, has this fucking train, which goes up on that track there, that takes you to all the different gates that you need to go to. And it's like such a fun ride. You've never flown. How have you never flown? You just drive everywhere? You need to get on an airplane. Airport off. Oh, dude, same, Nicole. Uh, I hate rushing. I missed, uh, the last time I flew, I missed my flight and had to get on a different one. Okay, Brandon, I can't roast you about Cinnamon Toast Crunch because that shit is fire. <laughs> oh, you're too scared? I mean, hey, understand. I've been on airplanes since 2007. <laughs> yeah, good job. Saving the environment. You're one person not buying a plane ticket. <laughs> I got that, uh, you're reducing your carbon footprint right there. Mm. Had to wait five hours for a flight when stuck in Las Vegas airport. Not the best one to be stuck at because you end up gambling. <laughs> Dude, I have never gambled before and I really want to and where i live there are hella casinos like all over the place and my boyfriend and i always like talk about going to gamble and then we just stay home with the dog oh and also so when my boyfriend took me to the airport this morning we obviously brought oogie with us uh, odin we call him oogie that's i'm gonna refer to him as oogie from here on out because that's what we fucking call him and uh so when i got out of the car and left, you know, he was like looking at me in the window and then uh, my boyfriend texted me when he got home, he said, Odin, and I just said his Odin, went around and immediately started like looking for me. And damn it, you knew I was gonna ask you to talk to strangers, uh, yeah. Gotta hold your hand and do it with you, like, <laughs> I think a stranger, dude, I hate talking to strangers. <laughs> I guess that's the benefit of living in a small country where you can drive basically to the other end of the country in five hours, oh yeah. You need to take advantage of getting his like it's a real thing. What are we talking about? I forgot. <laughs> Let me scroll up and see if I can get context for that. Oh, gambling. Yes. Beginner's luck. Yeah, beginner's luck and also, you know, I'm just lucky in general with this Pisces shit, though. So, uh, you know, I just, I want to wait till my boyfriend gets a job before I just start gambling. So, Accidentally lose our rank, you know? Very fun. Ah, look at the lovely scenery. The flat cement and the little trucks driving all over the place. What a beautiful, gorgeous land. <laughs> Can I 
I'll set you guys on my neat side note. I heard that I got some items from the ColourPop Sailor Moon collection. Oh, you got that? I saw that. Uh, and I thought it was pretty, but I'm trying not to buy makeup right now, so I don't know how that is. And we're going to Mercury Retrograde in Pisces. Uh, yeah, we fucking are. Oh my god, I saw a tweet the other day. Uh, this guy that I follow was like, just even treat people like shit. I'm like, that's funny. Well, but yeah. Here instead of IG or something, I only use YouTube. <laughs> I don't ever want to go live on Instagram, A, because some of my family members follow me, and also one of the residents, the one that I got my dog from, she's like 87 and she has an Instagram, she follows me, so, you know, wouldn't want to go live on there and skew everybody's perception of me, <laughs> but yeah, YouTube is pretty much always where I'm going to live. Try not to buy a whole lot, but I know I'd regret it if I didn't get them. Oh yeah, hell yeah. Dude, seriously, like, I want to know how those are and i follow you on instagram nicole so you're gonna have to like um post some things with them talking yourself out of dude i had to talk myself out of the jeffree star purchase and also the jaclyn hill and i went on the jeffree star cosmetics website yesterday and the palette was still not sold out this is like noon or something and i was like um yeah no i'm not gonna buy it not gonna do it gotta gotta not do it have to learn to deal with what I have, go through everything, use it, and then get new shit. Dude, it's like impossible to take good pictures of makeup. Like, I don't understand how people do it. You have to have like insane lighting, like in a crazy setup. I, I can never do it. That's why one time I tried to post a makeup look. I mean, I've posted a few, but I've never liked the pictures. But I did like um, one of those boomerangs where it was like I was moving. The lack of money in my bank account talked me out of it. Dude, yeah, seriously. I felt that. <laughs> Why is Coke Zero so good? Honestly, sponsor me. Uh oh, Scooby Doo is on, but it's like a weird new version where it's all. Oh, it's a movie. This will be the first time I try their blotted lips. <laughs> Dude. Uh, ColourPop, honestly, is amazing. Like, their eyeshadows are really good, and then also, um, their liquid lipsticks are my fucking favorite. Bloodlust has to be your favorite. Okay, am I still using the Blendiful? Eh, but I washed it again after that last video that I put up about the update, and it just, no, it's sitting on my vanity. Like, I washed it and I used one more time after that, and it just, I, I, it takes me so much longer to do my makeup whenever I use the Blendiful but it just does, so. And plus the foundation that I'm using now is the ColourPop Pretty Fresh, and that's basically a tinted moisturizer, so I just like rub it all over my face with my hands. Oh, 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 gonna drink some hair. Let's not do that. You yeah, know, um, who's that guy, Robert Welsh? Uh, he did a review on it, and he really likes it, and you see in like all his videos where he's doing his makeup, he like is still using it, but I don't know. It's, it's not for me, man, it's just not for me. I don't care about it. <laughs> <coughs> You're gonna do my makeup with a blendiful? Come on. <laughs> I mean, we'll see how fast it takes you to- I am so to like do each other's makeup. Does light makeup so you can see how it'd be less- oh yeah, no he does. Oh, I also- because he like, you know, is a professional makeup artist and has all these like tips and tricks. Um, Sandra, I'm going to McAllen, Texas. Yeah, the tips and tricks and so I was like, well maybe, you know, I can use some of these tips to make my makeup better because I've been having issues with creasing my eyes because I'm aging and I have these lines here. And so now I haven't been setting concealer to like help that but also I tried to do that where he just like puts a little bit of concealer here and then a little bit of concealer and it just I don't know it looked bad <laughs> and I hated the way my makeup looked that day so I'm just gonna continue doing it the way that I do it so. mm. how old am I I'm 27 for and then I'll be 28 because Sorry, I didn't think you guys wanted some ice cream ASMR. <laughs> I mean, if you do, let me know. I'll definitely do it. <laughs> what is this little 
magic tool in the bottom. Hold on, I'm gonna mess with something. Does this like me look better? Ooh, I can apply a filter. Let's make me look a little less like shit. Hold on. Ooh, I like this. Black and white. Noir. Dawn. Let's try to use the setting spray before me and it did not work out. Dude, yeah, probably. It's like, I'm, oh, that's trippy as hell. You guys want to be in a fever dream with me? This is a Glamour. Eight millimeter, okay. Documentary. The craziness of a girl. Oh, dear lord. Okay, okay. You did your makeup last night for a wake. Oh, fun. Oh, and it looked so good. <laughs> Looking snatched at that wake, fam. Okay, glow is the one that I'm gonna stick with. Let's do that. Dope. Here we go. Look at that, you guys. It's it's almost done. I don't look like shit right now. Oh my god. The the one thing that I don't like about traveling, dude. Yeah, you use filters. People keep calling you and knocking you on the stream. Oh well, that sucks, Brandon. Maybe you should have less friends. <laughs> uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, the one thing that I about traveling is like I don't know but for some reason I always end up looking though shitty like even if I were if, if I were to do makeup and then go on an airplane like you're just sitting all the time nothing's really changing and then I'll come off the airplane and like melt it and just like looks like I did it and can't match anything just ridiculous but you know I'm doing ice cream right now because I don't care because I'm wearing your eyes so R.I.P. headphone users you don't want to hear it uh you for a second Do I have food in my feet? Oh my god, that was cold. That was not worth it. I'm not gonna do that again. <laughs> Instead of RIP to headphone use, RIP my teeth, man. My teeth are so cold. But I did go to the dentist recently and I don't have any cavities, but apparently, did you know that it is possible? your teeth. I did not know that and so I had a bruised tooth because I bit my tongue ring. <sighs> if only I weren't a degenerate. Yeah. Less friends came out of your mouth like a horse trip over the city. <laughs> Why? <laughs> you fucking asshole. I can't say words, okay? I trip over my words all the time. It's not my fault. It's mercury that's doing it to me, right? Yeah, okay. Okay, bye. Oh, go to the dispensary and get something good. <laughs> Call me later while you hide. Let's laugh. Dude, I'm gonna go visit Samantha in May and we're gonna get stoned off our faces so that we're like to the point of where we're just like laughing hysterically. How's Pisces season? Oh, what's up, Jason? Hey, uh, Pisces season is fine, I think. It seems okay to me. I don't know. Uh, Sam, I might not have the time this weekend. I'm gonna be at my parents, so I'm probably just gonna be playing games and stuff. But maybe, possibly, potentially. Afterward. Also, I have indigestion. Did I say that already? I haven't had heartburn in forever, and I don't like it. Wow, I've only been live for 24 minutes. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Time is moving so slowly. See, travel, look at that. What game? games? Um, probably Nerds, which is a fast-paced card game. Probably Golf, which is a slow-paced card game. <laughs> uh, and whatever one want to play, we, you know, play card games. Pipsid Ace Dude, yeah. I think I'm just gonna tough it out. <laughs> Rub some dirt in it, you know. can't even handle myself. Dude, this filter is like, can I have this filter on my life? <laughs> Jesus Christ, I didn't need to do that. You told this chick I know that, I told this chick I know, we've cuddled naked. She had cool hands and they were nice. She laughed and told me it was weird. People as a woman, 
is that a fucked up compliment? To, wait, to say that somebody has nice hands. Oh, bye, Jason. Bye, Sam. Um, I, wait, let me, is that a fucked up compliment? No, I don't know. Like when you say that somebody like looks nice, even in their hands, I think that's still a compliment. Like, hey, thanks, I have nice hands. Like it's better to have nice hands than ugly hands. Ugly hands. You don't need to get your shit together and work on the paper. Oh no, I'm distracting you. Won't the teacher do a paper review before it's due, but I have to finish it this weekend. What's your paper on? <laughs> As I can, t I tell you to go work on it, but I like try to distract you more. <laughs> What's your paper about? Let's help Nicole write her paper together on the live stream, you guys. <laughs> Let's mad lib her paper. I like my own cream. I got not. Sex room? Okay. I was not expecting that. And that's awesome. <laughs> How much do you have left to write? <coughs> More people are showing up now. A sex crimes class? Dude. I mean, I know that that has to deal with like heinous shit, but that sounds awesome. If I was still in school, I would play the whole thing. <laughs> Get that outline done, girl. Just just watch uh, a bunch of Law and Order SVU episodes, and you'll have your paper written for you. <laughs> dun, dun. Getting my real name? If I could pick a new name, what would it pick? I always wanted to be named Nicole. <laughs> that was like always my favorite name, but I don't know. Rachel's chill, but if you want, you can call me Nicole. N I C H O L E. That's how I would spell it. <laughs> oh my god. Somebody, I met somebody yesterday whose name was Nicole, but it was spelled N I C K O L E. <laughs> Hi, Nicole. That's my new name now. You guys just call me Nicole. <laughs> oh, I'm jealous of your name. You wanted to be called Sarah? That's a good one, too. Most Sarahs I've known have been kind of bitchy, but, you know, we're older now, so I'm sure it's different. Or Alex. Ooh, hell yeah. Alexandra. I think it's <coughs> dope when girls are named Alex. I don't know why, but that's like the epitome of like, you're awesome to me. I'm just like, yo, what's up, Alex? My friend who's a girl, but also named Alex. People are starting to look. There's planes out there now. It's not just barren. <laughs> oh, thanks. Thank you later. Is it Sarah or Sarah? Well, then, or without a change. Ooh, Degrassi. I forgot about that. Nova and Nova. There was a kid, I this on my channel. Girl one and Nova, but she just Nova girl. Oh, that's cool. Um, I've probably said this on my channel before, but one of the apartment complexes I used to work at in Austin, somebody named their kid Your Highness, and it was spelled Y. Y-R-H-Y-N-E-S-S -S. and I just felt very bad for that child but he was a sweet little kid. His parents decided that they didn't want to budget. <laughs> they didn't want to have to limit themselves by budgeting rent into their budget. Well, they got evicted. Yeah. Your Highness. Yeah, I don't understand people and why they are fun to talk about them. <laughs> you named your daughter Lola? That was my cat's name. I think it's a pretty name. Well, it's like a sassy name in my head, probably because my cat is, was like very, very sassy. The sassiest cat I've ever met in my life, but you know. Is, is your daughter sassy? Please say yes. I'm not talking too loud. I'm self-conscious. If it's our personal. <laughs> That's what's going 
fucking awesome. See, I feel like I'm anybody, anything, you're dictating their personality based on what you named them. Your son's name is Magnus. It's the worst to pronounce from dude. That is a gangster name. Magnus. She's a little <laughs> I'm gonna start using that to like describe sassy people like she she's a Lola. Now I want to be named Magnus, dude. <laughs> uh, same though. And oh, I knew a kid named Excalibur once. He is a Magnus, so it fits him, dude. Hell yeah! See, you dictate, you you choose your kid's person based on the name that you give them. So give them some boss ass names. Don't give them any bitchy names like Christy. <laughs> well, my cousin's name is Christy, and she's fucking dope. But, uh, let me see. Heather. Heather is a bitchy. You want your kid to be a bully. <laughs> Name there. <laughs> Shout out to all the help that watch my channel. <laughs> Don't name her Regina. <laughs> yeah. Or Gretchen. an Isabella but she's not a princess she will be mark my words she will be Isabella people wear some very interesting things today and I mean I'm not one to talk I'm characters. wonder how many Elsa's there will be. Dude, right? She'll be 16. Don't curse it. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm gonna, I, I'm gonna take that back. I take back that energy that I put out. <laughs> be a queen. Oh, uh, my boyfriend and I started watching Community again because I watched it a long time ago and now we started it over. I didn't realize when I first watched it, which was, I was like, a freshman of, in college or whatever. Um, what a terrible person Jeff is. Jeff and Britta are the worst characters. Like, they need to go. Abed is the best. Pierce is hilarious. Troy is amazing. And he's hot. Uh, she's kind of, I don't know. Community is brilliant. Uh, dude, yes. I love, oh, the Dean. The Dean? Dean Pelton is my favorite fucking character. Well, maybe besides Chang. I hated Chang at first. Now his insanity is growing on me. <laughs> his little Chang army. Oh my god. What a good time. What a good time. Oh, look at how I ruined my nails. Do you see this? Because I had fake nails on and then I got them taken off and my nails were long and so then I had them put gel on my nails and then I just like ended up taking the gel off because the, my nails like broke and now they just look like and I have to grow them out again so that they don't look like shit anymore. <laughs> you know, you dig, you know what I'm saying? Pick it up what I'm putting down. Oh. Sorry, I didn't mean to hit the microphone. It's weird to be back in Texas. You just rewatched Jenna Marbles Robin Nails like do I go, oh my god. god. Speaking of Jenna Marbles can you believe she had to delete and re-upload that about her dogs? People were saying that she abused Jenna Marbles of all people. Her animals came in those harnesses for 30s. Like, oh my god, I hate people so much. You your nails up and I have a fucking obsession with somebody cutting my nails short. Dude, I have a problem with biting my nails. Yeah, poor Jenna. Like, I could get this out and they'll be long for like a month. A month or two and then I'll accidentally break one of them and I'll try to just like keep the other ones like growing but then I just I like put the tip of my nail in between my teeth and the teeth are just like ooh it would feel so satisfying to just like Arr. and then I end up with like this for pretty much ever so RIP to my I get fucking the because you 
you have to keep up with them and when they grow out like I have them get cut all the way down so that I can still type and stuff since that's what I mainly do at my job and they grow out so quickly and then it's like hard to type and then I don't want to go to the salon to like get them fixed and it's like expensive so like having nice nails is a luxury and also if I ever get rich I am never having nails like motherfucking Jeffree Star and Jaclyn Hill where it's like three inches above their finger is where they're like how do they have somebody that wipes their nails or do they just have bidets everywhere because like how do you do anything with those fucking nails How do you do it? Yeah, it's, it's pretty so. They're showing Austin, Texas on television in this airport right now for some reason. I, get you, I guess you get used to using the tips, that's what she said. like the San Marcos River. That didn't look like us. Oh, that's Barton Springs. Okay. Long nails are for lazy people. Too much time. Do you anything else about Billy Eilish nails? Are so Dude, yeah, they're so long. But I don't know. Like, I don't hate on Billy for them because, like, she's kind of dope, you know. <laughs> Billy can do whatever she wants. I don't care. She Did y'all see her on Hot Ones? That was a cool episode. Who was on Hot Ones recently that I watched? Oh, Will Ferrell was on Hot Ones. You love her, but man, her nails, I cannot imagine. Dude, I know. Watch us sitting here saying we can't imagine. One day we're gonna have, like, bougie money, and you gonna catch us with those nails. Like, mm, I don't know about that. Don't try it, but I've tried it. It's bad. It's like, it's like they put the tips on the nails, but then they don't cut the tip at all the whole <laughs> the whole thing so like you can't do anything how do you grip anything i have a personal assistant for literally everything be like oh i see you now oh the powers <laughs> the powers i just obsessively if i find I, I get real annoying if i have nails so i probably shouldn't ever do those again also a little bit of a gross point but like <laughs> well <laughs> I've had acrylics. Um, when I'm taken off, I always like will dig in right here, collect stuff. <laughs> oh, what's up? Up in the house, Rex TV. How you doing? Whoa, that person here. Well, I'll probably get off of this soon so that I can save battery so that I land in McAllen, my parents can actually contact me. <laughs> Imagine the bacteria under those nails. Oh my god, yeah. No, thank you. <laughs> Gross. Oh, my butt hurts from. Like, it's my butt is very cushiony again, so like you would think that it would be fine sitting on the floor, but no, it's it's numb. Just enjoying the day. How are you enjoying the day? What you do with your day? Sun's flight is late. Oh, <laughs> my dog so cute. I miss my dog, and I've only like four hours now. <laughs> Care of them and treat them your heart with you. Oh, all my. He eats his food so quickly. He like gobbles it up to the point where, like, it could cause bloat and like he could literally die from it because he's just eating his food too fast, and so. I was hand feeding it to him little by little until his bowl came in and I ordered this bowl off of Amazon that just like has a bunch of 
stuff sticking his food in 3.2 seconds it takes him like five minutes i'm like aha i got you but i still have to figure out how to get him to stop swallowing his greenies whole anytime he's given a treat he does not chew it he just swallows that shit whole and it's like the whole point of greenie is for him to chew on it so that it'll clean his teeth but no he just wants to uh treat that he wants more treats and i'm like well if he didn't swallow it whole then we wouldn't be having this issue and uh there are these treats that are like they're huge they're like probably six inches long and they're like pretty girthy I'm about to leave the apartment and go live to talk to friends oh how fun but anyways yeah so these girthy big ass treats <laughs> They're supposed to take like several days to chew on and I have to supervise him because the first time I gave him one he ate the entire thing in 15 minutes. This dog is 12 pounds like his mouth is tiny. How does he do that? It's a mystery to me honestly. It is. It is. a lot of people around right now so I think I'm gonna go you guys thanks for hanging out with me my flight is gonna take off soon hopefully and you know yeah yeah I'll talk to you guys soon I'm gonna put up a snapchat compilation on Tuesday that I already have edited so Merry Christmas in February okay let's see you later bye